What is up ladies and gentlemen and before we get into the video I think it's important that we uh, pick the winner for the you know the masterpiece uh, items that I've crafted uh, you'll see that on screen right now so all of this uh, I'm about to spin the wheel and good luck to everyone good luck to you Fuzzy Bear, Hemnick, uh, Enma, Amir, Dark Sun, uh, Duke I uh, can't pronounce your name and blah blah alright so good luck to every single one of you guys I'm about to spin the wheel and sadly this is for the worst server guys don't worry uh later on throughout the week i'll do a giveaway for the e-server so yeah stay tuned for that but anyways let's uh, click the wheel and see who wins <laughs> uh congratulations blah blah you are the winner brother uh yeah um I'll give you 48 hours of blah blah. Uh, you gotta come to my island, and on my island, there'll be a chest with your name on it. So, yeah, so come to my island, okay? And I'll have a chest with uh, your name, and you have access to that chest, and you can grab the gear. Congratulations again. Uh, shout outs to everyone that participated, and uh, good luck for next time. Uh, anyways, let's head into the video now what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video today's video is dedicated to you guys that are new to refining so you do not own a mammoth and you're starting off small scale i am going to take you back to my past roughly three years ago when i first began and how i managed to work my way up to earning a mammoth on screen right now this is the exact build i used in the past so Back in the days, I would take a bag, uh, ideally a tier 8 bag. Uh, it doesn't have to be 8.1, 8.2, whatever. It can just be like a tier 8 bag. I also took the Skinner's backpack because I am transporting hide. So ladies and gentlemen, it makes more sense to take the Skinner's backpack. Here's the reason. It reduces the weight of tier 7 hide or lower by 30%. Because I am refining 5.2, this tier 7 bag or Skinner's backpack is going to reduce that weight also. The tier 8 bag is going to reduce, uh, it's going to increase my max load by 269. Do you see that on screen? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I used to do back in the days. I also have a royal sandals. Basically, you can use whatever boots you want. Uh, for me, in this case, I took royal sandals. Uh, it increases your max load by 350 kilos. So everything that I have on screen right now regarding my build increases my max load. As far as the Skinner's backpack is concerned, that decreases the load for anything that's regarding hide. Because I am trans uh, transporting hide, ideally take the Skinner's backpack. As you can see guys, this is how I started off small scale. I would um, transport little by little and work my way up. Uh, on screen right now is the 5.2 hide that I bought. Uh, I bought the 5.2 hide here in Bridgewatch and the 4.2 work leather. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I took. Uh, my weight right now is, uh, is at 112, but if I pop my pork pie, uh, my weight will be reduced to below 100%, thus giving me movement speed. So basically, this is how I started off as a small refiner back in the days. And ladies and gentlemen, can you still make millions with, as a small refiner? Yes, you can, all right? And I'm gonna show you why. You see this? This is called focus. What I'm gonna do is use focus points to refine. Now, every single video you've seen me make in the past, I never use focus focus and I never got the chance to explain that so I'm gonna do it now the reason why I never use focus uh, in my past videos is because I transport on a mammoth and because I transport on a mammoth I can carry a lot more than what I'm carrying right now or a lot more than the smaller refiners so there's no need for me to use mammoth just because of the sheer number of materials that I'm about to refine but if you're small scale refining like I'm showing you right now I'm gonna show you the real reason why focus is important all right so you can basically triple double or get four times the profit back using focus in order to refine but because like i said er, um, earlier i am a, i do use a mammoth sorry because i use a mammoth and i transport more than the normal person uh there's no need for me to use focus just because of the sheer number of uh, or the sheer volume that i'm transporting but if you're lower in refiner and you're small scale then i suggest you use focus and i'm taking you back to my roots on how i started as a refiner okay so here we are um nothing else to say other than i'll see you guys in Matlock where we'll do the calculation and the tax count and then yeah and then we'll count on profit all right so wait to the end of the video to see that but anyways guys i'll see you in Matlock. i'm just gonna pop my pork pie and make my way there so pop my pie my weight has gone down to 86 now i'm on my way to Matlock. i'll see you guys when i get there okay welcome traveler 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, I made it here to Malok. I transported all the gear. As you can see, the pork pie is still active, meaning that I, can, I still have a lot of cavalry weight. Now, before we get anything else done, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's important that I explain uh, how I calculate my profits. So, in order to do that, ladies and gentlemen, we need to come here to my web browser and then we're going to type in Albion 2D refining calculator and then you click on refining profit you go up here to tools you come down to refining profit calculator and you go to hide because I am refining hide everything here is set to the default settings and over here the first thing I like to do is change the craft amount to 999 sorry I didn't mean to press price uh, plus so basically the crafted amount is 999 because that's how many stacks you can actually um, carry with you now after I do that I like to head down here and I like to fill in these boxes so basically on screen right now uh, you'll see that I bought the 5.2 hide from 1743 silver I bought it from Bridgewoods and basically I come here on Albion 2D to where it says uh, rare heavy hide and I type in those numbers so I bought it for 1743 after that uh, I put in the buy price that I bought the uh, 4.2 or the rare work leather and I bought the 4.2 leather for 1400 so you head on here and you fill that in 1400 simple so basically I did the um buy orders at uh, Bridgewatch and Martlock and I just forgot all about it okay I'm looking to sell the 5.2 leather at 5140 uh, 94 silver sorry not 40 uh, that's because as you can see on screen now it's another screenshot and that's how much the leather is selling for at Bridgewatch so the 5.2 leather is selling at Bridgewatch for 5194 so I come up here and I type that in 5000 194 all right it's awesome so i filled in all the correct boxes in order to refine tier 5.2 you need 4.2 and i bought the 4.2 for what, uh, 1400 silver i bought the 5.2 heavy hide for 1743 silver and i'm looking to sell it at 5100 or higher now next step is to figure out your tax and in order to figure out your tax ladies and gentlemen let me move this out the way uh, to figure out your tax uh, first you need to pull up the map wrong map this map and then what you want to do is find the cheapest uh, refining station so the cheapest uh, station that I can see right now is this one and it's at 370 uh, silver I'll have an arrow pointing towards the crafting station all right so in order for you to craft your tax and Here's the tax on Albion 2D. Uh, in order for you to like uh, figure out your tax, sorry. Uh, what you need to do is bring up your calculator and the cheapest price was 370. So basically, uh, once you bring up your cal uh, calculator, not calendar, I'm sorry, you type in 370 and then you divide that by 44.4. .4. And that will equal 8.3%, all right? So that's your tax right there. So it's 8.3%. So you come back to Albion 2D, you go here and you change that to 8.3. So that's 8.3. The return rate, usually I will tell everyone to type in 36.7. Uh, that's if you're not using focus. So if you're using no focus, uh, you type in 36.7. But because this video is dedicated to smaller refiners who do not own a mammoth, I highly recommend you use focus. So instead of typing in 36.7%, you type in this number 53.9. All right. So the reason why you type in 53 point here, I'll show you real quick. So let's find the nearest uh, refining station. Here's, here's the nearest refining station. As you can see, when you click on it, and let's say you're gonna refine some, uh, let's just do it there. As you can see here, it says resource, uh, resource return rate is 36.7. That is why I always tell everyone to use 36.7. It's because at this, at the crafting station, especially the refining station, it will always say 36.7. But when you use focus, it's, uh, I want you to put down the return rate at 53.9. Once you uh, complete all this and you fill down here, the next step is to fill in the masteries. Now, let me show you what the masteries are. You come back to Albion and this is your masteries right here. So you come down this tree oh sorry this tree and in here you can see your masteries as you can see for my tier 4 refining it's a 100 my tier 5 refining is 100 all right so these are the levels uh, as you can see for my tier 6 refining uh, I'm at 88 uh, for my ore I'm at 48 so I, I rarely uh, refine uh, tier 6s I usually stick to um, tier 4s and 5s those are my main 
things to refine as you can see these are the masteries and you need to fill them so basically my tier 4 is uh, the specs on it is 100 so you come back to Albion 2D and then you write down tier 4 and you write down 100 same with the tier 5 you type in 100 and this is all for the hide okay ladies and gentlemen so you go back to Albion 2D and you scroll back down and you look for the hide tree my tier 6 is at 46 so I come back to um, Albion 2D and I type in 46 here at the mastery tier 6 and I scroll down and I go to tier 7 and it's at 6 so it's quite pathetic the lower down I go so you write 6 and then you go down to the tier 8 and you click it and it's one basically it's just trash <laughs> and then tier a you fill in one so that's how you fill in when you're using focus all right ladies and gentlemen so for you small scale users this is how you fill it in once that's all completed all that's left now is to fill in uh, down here at the <coughs> these are the resources that, that you're looking to refine and all you have to do is scroll down and find the 5.2s and as you can see the profit here is beautiful all right uh, i'm looking to make two mil profit per stack of 999 as you can see right here so 2.1 million silver so for every one stack of 999 i get i made a profit of 2.1 million silver all right this is why um, i'm showing you guys how to refine uh as a small scale if you're small scale small scale refining ladies and gentlemen uh, i recommend using focus and uh yeah you can still make millions all right if you're using a mammoth then don't you don't need to use focus you can just refine with no focus but if you're small scale like uh like i'm showing you and how i started then you need to use um your focus in order to get maximum uh benefits and so on Right, ladies and gentlemen, while I speed through or speed run this refining session, uh, you probably noticed I did not use any uh, potato salad, but that's fine. I just want to say this again for those of you that are watching my video. If you're small scale refining and you do not have a mammoth, then definitely use your focus. One of the reasons why I recommend using the focus is, it, you, as I said in the video, you can like triple or get four times the profit back. As you saw, uh, I was getting two mil per stack and that is with focus uh, as you also can see on screen guys i did not have enough focus to um refine everything but because i already made one stack and a, a couple extra i already made two mil profit using my focus right now as you saw on screen i i made a stack of 999 which automatically gives me two mil off the rip now i'm refining the rest of whatever i have in stock on me right now with no focus so at the beginning of the refining session you saw me use focus and i got a stack of 999 and i got my two mil back and then straight after that now when i used all my focus and i had nothing left to use i continued the refining and i'm still making profit as you can see on the estimated market value at the bottom uh, if you want to rewind it you can uh the, my numbers are still going i'm still gaining profit every single time i'm doing this so yeah for you small scale refiners uh yeah this is the best advice i can give you is to refine your focus use your focus and once you get to a mammoth then you can start using your focus for like things such as crafting food crafting weapons and crafting armor and so on okay i hope that helped you out a lot for those of you new refiners now that we're at the end of a refining session ladies and gentlemen uh, we're going to do a quick summary at the end where I put up all the numbers and I'll show you how much profit I made with the small scale refining technique. All right. This is a pro tip that I'm giving you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in my favorite part of the video. I'm pretty sure you guys enjoy it too. So basically right now on screen are the numbers. So we were refining some 5.2 hide and we refined it in the city of Martlock. I should always say this because a lot of new players don't pick up on it sometimes. Martlock is where you go to refine uh, any type of hide. It does not matter what tier. Uh, that's because Martlock has the refining bonus. Uh, the crafting station tax was at 8.3%. I did use focus. Uh, let's get that out the way. And because I use focus uh the return rate wasn't 36.7 instead it was 53.9 percent all right uh the tier 4.2 leather i bought that for 1400 silver each the 5.2 hide i also bought that for 1743 silver each the sale price that i'm looking to sell my leather at is one uh 5194 uh the profit from one stack of 999 5.2 leather 
is 2.1 mil. I should also say this again, that is because I use focus, all right? Uh, my total investment was 11.6 million silver. Uh, total return, uh, estimated market value was 16.5 million silver. As you can see on screen right now at the bottom, the estimated market value is at 16.5. Uh, that means I made a total profit of 4.9. To be honest, I'm just gonna round it up to five mil because Bridgewatch was uh, buying the 5.2 leather at five, at 5,194 but the other cities they were buying it for 5,200 Martlock it was selling for I think 4,920 so Martlock will always be the cheapest uh, but the other cities Fitford, uh, Fort Sterling and Limhurst they were buying it for roughly 5,250 and higher anyways guys that's the summary uh, I'm done for today I hope I helped out all of you uh, lower end uh, refiners and yeah get into your own refining guys a lot of people do not like the fact that I do these types of videos they say that I'm exposing it. Let's be honest, guys. There's just too many people on Albion Online, uh, the game, and there's no way that we can, like, you know, fully corner the market. There's just too many players. Everything will sell. Don't worry about it. There's always crafters. There's always ZVZ. There's always bandits. There's always vortex. There's always castles. There's always outposts in the black zone. There's always PVP. So yeah, I don't know why everyone's all on a, all got their panties in a bunch over something that I'm doing. All right. So this is to help out you newer guys. I've been playing this game for so long. Do your own refining. Get into your own crafting. And yeah, nothing else to say. I'm out of here, people. And uh, before I leave, be good out there. And if you can't be good, then be bloody careful. It's your boy Mussy and I'm out.